This next uh, a guest, he's a real special guy because he's Italian. He's a, he's a comedian, he's an actor. He began in New York's famous Catch a Rising Star Comedy Club. So he's one of, you, one of your own. No, but some of you are from Jersey, so he's just a friend of a friend. <laughs> <laughs> he was in the, the, he was in the, the Santa Claus, the film, um, a, another movie called I'll Kill You. Uh, <laughs> family f movie called The Con Job. No, that's in some of and, uh, but he was a regular on Home Improvement, so you'll probably recognize his face when you see him. He's got a lot to talk about, a lot to say. He's not like he's not your typical Italian that all dresses in black with a red tie or anything like that, you know. But he's a real nice Italian boy. His name is Jim Labriola. Please welcome Jim out there. Oh! oh. <laughs> How you doing? How are you? 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 How you doing? You're wearing a wire or what? That's how Italians greet each other. Hey, is he wearing yeah. a wire? How you yeah. doing? What's oh, so, up? So. How are you? So, Jim. First of all, I want to tell you something. What are you is this me? a handsome guy or what? Look at this guy. Yeah. And you know, people tell me all the time, they think we're brothers. <laughs> I've heard that <laughs> once tonight. <laughs> so, you're, you're an actor, you're a comedian. I mean, did you start off C comedian, comedian, doing comedy? What am I trying to say? Comedy, or did you start off acting? What did you You're speaking English right now. What's no, going on here? I was speaking English really well until you came out. They I make, you make me nervous. <laughs> You're like my father. You make me nervous. No, I, uh... Well, my father made me nervous, too. I'll tell you that. That's why my hair's like this. Yeah. I got wavy hair. It's waving goodbye. <laughs> oh, 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 oh! I got them all here tonight. <laughs> He's on a roll. I'm on a roll. How you doing? All right, so, uh... Where are we? I would, I would think we're in New York tonight. This is the Tonight Show? It, 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 that's tomorrow. This is the Yesterday Show. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, you started off as a comedian. Yeah, I started off. I started off as a baby, but then you went to the comedian. It, oh, don't be funnier than me. No, I'm All sorry. Right? Don't be funnier than me. That's... It was a joke. I saw an opening. I, I, I should have known better. Okay. <laughs> Make a short story longer. All right. I. Uh... <laughs> I was, uh, yeah, I grew up in a very nice, dysfunctional kind of family, very nice. <laughs> and I knew I wasn't gonna be a brain surgeon. And I says, you know, comedy came very easy for me, because humor is great. It made you have friends, it, it, it stopped your father from hitting you in the head. <laughs> and it just came easy to me. Why I do Italian it. fathers like to hit in the head? What's the deal? I don't know what that is, because they want you to be like them. Is that what it is? Yeah, I knew what kind of mood he was in by the sporting equipment I had to wear. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I, I got it. They didn't uh, get it. I got uh, it. They still here? It's in the back. It's, it was a shot in the back of the head I used to get. Yeah, right. Shot in the back of the head. Well, a lot of times get a shot in the back of the head. That's... Yeah, but we don't hear about that much. You see, the, Ed, their bios are in A&E, a, a &E, so... Yeah, if we don't go out and eat, we never get killed. That's right. You ever think about that? They all got shot while they were eating. It's always in the restaurant. Oh, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> Where were we? I don't know, man. <laughs> I feel like I'm looking at a scrapbook of my family over here. It's like Martin and Lewis. <laughs> so, uh, Jerry? <laughs> Lady! <laughs> Bing! How are you? So I, don't, I don't even need this anymore. Nah, wait. All right, so you started off doing comedy. Yes. Like tonight. Right. And now, how did it progress to, uh, where did you, you start off at the house? You just joke around with your family, right? Joke around my family. I come from, uh, like I said, really kind of crazy, dysfunctional, but funny kind of family. And laughter always came easy. And, did you just uh, like test jokes out with them? Yeah, I used to test jokes out with them. Uh, a matter of fact, I wanted to be a ventriloquist when I was a kid. Oh. And I had a little doll, a dummy, my brother. Okay. And, uh, <laughs> and I knew it wasn't my thing. <laughs> At least you're laughing, but no, I, I got it. I, I, I knew I wasn't good because you know my. I just I said no, you're not a good fan too. Because people, my family would walk around the house going, he really stinks. <laughs> I'll tell you something. He's he's horrible. And that was your brother. That was my time. brother. Yeah, exactly. Well, they were talking. Well, they were talking about you. They uh, anyway. So go ahead. You and no, your brother. He's on your lap. My you got brother's your hand on my lap. Yeah. Back behind his back. Right. Just would talk like this. 
And that didn't work out. So I, I started in, in going to clubs. Uh, you know, I would go, I started when I was about 17, 18 years old, about, about five years ago. And, uh... <laughs> I had a rough life, shots in the head. Okay. It's been a but, rough five years. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Talk about that later. I look good before the plane crash. But anyway, um, <laughs> make a short story even longer than longer. the other one. I, I just started playing clubs. I would go anywhere to do comedy. I would go anywhere. I just, uh, you know, any any place that had a microphone, a bar, a comedy club, anywhere. I just love being on stage, you know. And it's very easy for Italians to be on stage, you know, like a police lineup. Right. Very easy. Very easy. To the left. Exactly. Sir. Numbers. And it was my neighborhood. It was very easy to talk about my neighborhood because I came from one of those neighborhoods. I grew up, I don't know if you know where I'm from originally. You know what? There was a little sign that I thought maybe you could have been from New Jersey, but the more you talk, I realize you're not from New Jersey. <laughs> you're definitely from New York. No, no, Alabama. Originally. Oh! Alabama. Oh! Oh! I grew up in a witness protection program. Oh, I thought hey. that, uh... Pack, we gotta get out of here right away. Just well, did they just look at you and say, you know what, he's gonna be he's gonna be bad. Let's just put him in the program now. That's right. <laughs> he's gonna be bad. He's gonna be bad. Right. Put him right there yeah. now. Let, get him to Mississippi. I like when people ask me, where you from? I'm from France. Where am I uh. from? <laughs> but you know, I grew up in one of those neighbors. Okay. Did you like go together in the morning? No, or? me <laughs> him and my grandfather, we all go to school together. And um, <laughs> Matter of fact, my father's the only guy in the country that went to college on a bocce ball scholarship. <laughs> One time, the teacher asked my father, excuse me, Mr. Labriola, who shot Lincoln? He said, hey, don't look at me. <laughs> I don't know nothing. It was a heart know. attack. I don't know nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know nothing. <laughs> what do I know? Nothing. Yeah, there nothing. he is at the Ford's Theater. <laughs> <laughs> the I told him, take the hat off. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. All right, so, you know, you're, you're moving out of the house, taking your jokes from the house to the, to the outdoors, to the parks, to the bars, to uh, <laughs> ice cream man. I don't know. You tell me. It's your story. I can't give you your testimony. Why? What? Uh, what happened? What happened after that? Well, uh, you know, I just became, uh, I was, as you can see, it's a gift. It's, and um, <laughs> I, thank you, ma'am. But uh, <laughs> one person recognized it. And it wasn't even my wife, and she's in the audience. That's kind of nice, but... Jesus! I don't think it's Jesus. I just think it's, it's one of his friends. It's my opinion. But go ahead. Even Jesus is up there going, oh, that was a bad day that day. I'll tell you something. <laughs> what happened to Labriola? I don't know. It looked like a heart attack. <laughs> too, but, uh... No, j just, uh, where were we? You were, you were leaving the house to take your talents out, outdoors, outside of the house. <laughs> Not out, out, you were getting started in the, in the business. Yeah, I got started in the business uh, very young. Like I said, I was 17, 18 years old, and I, used to, I started in clubs in Manhattan, the, comedy, uh, the comic strip, Catch a Rising Star, the improv, and I just kept doing it. I just loved it. You know, you get that, there's, there's nothing like making people laugh, especially for a few hours. Right, oh, <laughs> right. But, you know, that all changed. When, you know, the difference, what I'm trying to say is back then, and <laughs> what am I trying to say? God, help me out here. Well, okay, like when you're 17 years old. Right. And you got a, a club full of just, you know, a bunch of adults, 17. I mean, what, do you, what, what, do you, what were your jokes back then? What is a 17-year-old jokes well, back then? You know, I would just talk about basically my family, the right. neighborhood, different things, dating, you know, and, and, uh, and the only way to be a comic you don't go to school, you don't learn it, is you had to go out there and you had to do it in front of people. You know what I mean? There's no in the mirror, there's no this, and that's how you became good. The rough places, like I did bars. In the early 80s, they had comedy was everywhere. Bars, mm. bowling alleys. I did shows in a bowling alley. I'm in the middle of a joke. You hear, ball stuck on alley seven. Ball stuck? <laughs> we need beer in alley 12. We need more beer, alley 12. So, those are the places that gave you your chops, that made you tough, that made I, you I good. I used to sing in bowling alleys. You're kidding me. No. I knew I knew you. <laughs> you were singing while I was trying to tell jokes. Well, it, nobody was laughing. I had to <laughs> come up with a song. You know, I was trying to fill the gap. What happened to Carmen? I don't know. It looked like a heart attack. I don't <laughs> know what happened. Just... Nah, that's just his balance. <laughs> So you're singing in all different places, or singing, you're, you're, you're yeah, I'm comedy, singing. I'm right. singing and they're oh. laughing at me. I'm starting to sing and they're laughing. How, how do you get from doing comedy to, to, to acting? How do you bridge that gap? 
Well, comedy was always a stepping stone for me. I always want, I used it as to, to act. And my dream was to be on a sitcom one day. And I used to drive a dump truck. I, I was a teamster, hard to believe, right? Really? Yeah, not kidding you. Like Jimmy Hoffa teamster? Jimmy Hoffa teamster. What did Jesus say to the teamsters? I don't know. Guys, don't do nothing until I get back. <laughs> and that's exactly what's... Yeah, I got still it. There? Yeah, they're not doing nothing. Yeah. I, we, we played um, And that's Madison. what happens when I sing. I got the same. I, that's what happens when I tell jokes. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, right there. So uh, you're, you're, you're telling jokes with the Teamsters? No, I, you're I drove, driving. I drove a truck in the a day, and I used to work the clubs at night. Right. And I remember I said, one day I'm going to be on a number one TV show on ABC. And I used to pass ABC when I oh, would drive really? the truck. Yeah, I just used to say it to all my, you know. Oh, you're out in L.A. during this time. No, right? I'm in New York. I'm oh. driving a truck. All right. Oh, see, I'm bringing the Italian out with you. I'm oh. Sorry. This comes out. So, you notice he's getting more Italian as he's hanging out with me. I was very civilized before I got here. And tonight. then now it's like, oh, so tell me what happened. Yeah. <laughs> It just all comes out. <laughs> no, so so I, I go and uh, I'm driving a truck, and I used to pass ABC, too. And the ironic part of that is eventually one day I got on the, on the TV show Home Improvement as a recurring regular mm. on ABC, which was the number one show. Yeah. <laughs> so that's the one where pa Pam Anderson was on that show. Yeah, she, was, she left the show before I did. She left the show before you got there? Before I got How'd there. How'd she know? Well, she heard I was coming. She goes, I got networking with those guys here. Yeah. They had a new tool girl, right? Yeah. Uh, I forget her name. You were married. It didn't matter, right? Exactly. I didn't care. Yeah, no, I love my wife. I got a good wife. Right. Thank God she can't see too good. But uh... <laughs> She's walking around the lobby with the dog. Right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so... You know what? You want to laugh? Yeah, do, a, go ahead, do. A, 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 no. A friend of mine, I'll never forget this Cuban comedian, I remember, a very funny guy, and he comes over, and I'm first dating her, we're in a comedy club, so he comes over to me, I introduce, at that time, my girlfriend, so he goes, where's the dog? I said, what are you talking about? He goes, her dog, where's the dog? I said, what do you mean? She goes, she's blind, right? Oh, that's <laughs> yeah. cold. Yeah, that was cold. Uh, but 